previously on the beaten trail. Where's Miguel at when we need him? And now for the conclusion. So at this point, Dante's skid plate on his razor was pretty much detached. Adrian had provided the power tools, so he didn't have to cut it off, but it was definitely sure bent all out of shape. And with all the water incursions, this is exactly what happened. So it just ripped the crap out of it, and it was removed. And at the same time, we were trying to winch him over, the roof popped off, but that was merely just an unlock uh, mechanism, and that pretty much just locked back in place. The rest of the day was pretty much just going to be making sure that we don't lose any more parts on Dante's ride. And at this point, we were pretty much out of options for him to do more water and rock climbing because he had no protection on the bottom, except for the small rear skid plate. And we would see how long that would last. For the rest of the day, we spent our time finding trails that were not so heavily populated or run by many riders, but we did explore a bit and found a little bit of dry riverbed and some rocky trails to play around and explore with. Of course, we certainly didn't want to have Dante go through anything crazy, but it didn't really bother him. He enjoyed the adventure and had no fear whatsoever. there was water or mud, Dante was going to go full speed headfirst go right it. into it. Ready? We did notice a pattern. It just was as fast as possible into the deepest water as possible that you could find. Shane, you have a competitor for tacos. 
chain is known for doing anything for tacos, going up hills backwards, and so here Dante shows that he can do the backwards ride through the puddle as fast as possible as well. The trails of the western region of Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area are vast and there's quite a lot of variety to get to. There's a nice peaceful lake, there's certainly yeah, mud road, mud or you can road, take yeah, a nice yeah, ride in through the Pineys, which we will show you a little bit later. But the good amount of water gives you an opportunity to cool off on a hot day. And this was August, it was not super hot and it had a little bit of a chill in the air once you got wet. So I know that. Megan, who was riding with Dante, was a little chilly at times. Shane went ahead and was the Boy Scout just to be a nice guy and make sure that Dante and Megan weren't going to go in over their exhaust. They did not have a snorkel on their razor and if this went over two or three feet it would not be a pleasant day. So Shane checked it out and realized it was deep but Dante did not care. So on the way back he let him know over the radio and Dante was going to go ahead and go in this water hole anyway.
after all that fun we continued down mud road after running into a few subscribers and some friends and we continued on our way for more trails or pineys as they're called are always enjoyable tight little trails good amount of mud and a little bit of making sure that you don't clip your tire on a tight narrow opening between trees it's actually one of our favorites it doesn't matter if it's in the summer or the winter time regardless it's a great time and so we decided to take a spin through the pines Getting towards the end of the day, and we decided to take a ride up by the Mammoth and see some of the sights and make a pit stop. 
and so we found a area up here that a couple other people were stopped at just to look at the overlook and so we stopped along and said hi to some subscribers that we ran into and handed out some stickers you know we love handing out stickers We chatted with some people who had not been to a lot of the locations that we reviewed in the last year, so we talked about other locations in Pennsylvania, Mines and Meadows, Rock Run, and a few other locations, but it was good to catch up with some new friends. From the scraping sounds, that sounded like it was the last bit of Dante's skid plate, and he pulled it off. Let me stand over here. It's like he's got a dumbbell installed. The final visit was on the east region of Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area, out in the mud area. We had Adrian in his 1000 high lifter, and he had to try this super deep hole that we found. A few tries, and he didn't make it, but he surely put out a good tsunami. So we all had a good laugh. Draining the swamp. Yeah. Are you gonna try it? Oh, no. oh. Shout out to our sponsor, Evolution Power Sports, your one-stop shop for pre-owned quality off-road vehicles, parts, and more. Give them a shout and tell them the Beaten Trail sent you. You can also get some merchandise from the Beaten Trail online with a click of a button. We thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this two-part episode, and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Inside the beer. On the roof. We talk about that when the videos. <laughs> when the videos off, we'll talk Clip about the video. Clip the video. All right, call the video. <laughs> officially, officially. Yeah, yeah. Strap it I've on top of the seen, roof. I've never seen that roof in my life. And this way. This side came off, or yeah, is it that side? No, it's, it's bent that way. No, it, it's, that side's off, right? Yeah, that side's off. Yeah.